Ordinary people every day are duped by fraudulent movers and moving scams. Those can be devastating on everyday lives. But bad moves not only happen with scammers, but also poorly managed moving companies. For example, without proper infrastructure and policies refined over time, new moving companies are more likely to overpromise and underdeliver. So if you want to avoid the possibility of a canceled move or unreasonably high fees, maybe things being abandoned during transit, well then you can ask these five questions to quickly vet out unreputable moving companies from more reliable ones. Number one, how long have you been in business? This question really exemplifies the reputation of a moving company because longevity goes a long way in terms of business, especially in this industry. So moving companies that have been around longer are more likely to be ones you can count on. In general, try to avoid movers that haven't been in business longer than maybe a year or so. Because with more time and more experience, a mover with 10 plus years of moves under their belt, as an example, means you're more likely to have a good move. Next, do you require a deposit? Most reputable movers will not charge deposits, or they might charge maybe slightly higher rates during seasonality, but one common way unreputable movers get more funds out of customers is by charging hefty deposits before the move date. So keep an eye out for movers or move brokers that require large payments before your move even happens. A customer is more likely to get scammed if they're paying a lot up front for a service that hasn't even happened yet. So avoid paying until you've signed your paperwork and met with a move estimator. And then it's a good rule of thumb to avoid choosing movers who charge those large deposits up front. Now, a third question you can ask. Are you registered with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration? FMCSA registered moving companies are required by law to uphold certain standards for their customers. Now, if you choose a mover who's registered with the FMCSA, then you immediately know they follow certain safety and customer service standards outlined by those federal regulations, and they're going to be held accountable to them. So ask your mover early on if they're registered with the FMCSA, especially if you're going through a long distance move. Because if you're not, this may not apply. But even locally, you can still determine whether a moving company will follow the state level regulations for safety and training. But if your mover isn't registered with any regulatory agency, uh, you're more likely to experience issues with movers not reimbursing for damages or maybe more likely that damage will happen to your goods in the first place. There's a lot of red flags here. But next up, do you broker moves or do you do them yourself? Now we've covered a lot on moving brokers versus moving companies. Check out our blog for tons of great info. But in short, move brokers act as a middleman between a customer and a moving company. They'll typically offer low prices to customers, but then they hire movers that charge even lower rates, and then they take the middle. They quote low prices, but customers end up paying more on moving day in many cases. Now there are some benefits to working with a good move broker, like saving some time. But customers who want accurate quotes and want to work with a moving company directly, well, they, you should avoid some brokers. Finally, will you require a walkthrough before an estimate? For the most accurate written estimate, customers must meet either in person or virtually with a move estimator. This is to help them actually see what's being moved. It's designed to allow an estimator to draw up the most accurate estimate possible and gives you a chance to ask questions as a customer to the moving company, anything you want to know before the move happens. Now, if you have a mover trying to get you to sign an estimate without having ever conducted that initial walkthrough, you might want to explore some more reputable options because walkthroughs are your guarantee for the most accurate estimates possible. You'll get to meet with that representative of the company, you'll get a better feel for the movers, and they will see what needs to be moved so that it's not a shock on moving day. Now, you don't always need movers. So when you do, work with good ones. Most of our customers don't move that many times in their life. The average is about 11 times. But moving is a big deal. It's stressful and it's difficult, no matter how you do it. So working with a good moving company will make a huge impact, not only on your move, but on the start of your new chapter of your life. You want that stress to be gone. So make sure you vet all your options and go with a moving company that you feel you can trust.